Hello and uh, welcome to the class. We'll continue with the unit that is unit two, ancient architecture in India. So here we under writing skills, we have letter writing or formal letter writing. So the first letter type of letter is letter of inquiry. Now while hearing that itself, we understand that we are asking for some or inquiring about some in information. So here, right away, we have a small task there. During your summer vacation, you are planning to take up an internship with a leading organization in your city. And you need to write a letter of inquiry to the HR manager. What kind of letter would this be, formal or informal? So obviously, it is a formal letter. So now there in the box, you have what a letter of inquiry actually is. A letter of inquiry asks someone for specific information. Hence, the tone and content of the letter must make it easy for the recipient to identify and provide the information that you require. So here, under task 11, you have an exercise there. Tick the points that you would include in the letter. So you are writing this letter. During summer vacation, you are planning to take up an internship with a leading organization in your city, and you need to write a letter to the letter of inquiry to the HR manager. So what are the points that you would include in this letter? So the first one given there is a brief self-introduction, an inquiry about annual profit the company makes, request for an internship, details about your medical history, when you would be available for work, the reason why you want this in, internship, details about your participation in sports, cultural activities, technical knowledge about the nature of the work, your contact details, and inquiry about the availability of internship opportunities or positions. So these are the points. So what are the points that you would include in this? So the first one would be a brief self-introduction. So that is the first point that you are going to include in this letter of inquiry, a brief self-introduction, then a request for internship. Then what is the next one? The reasons why you want this, the reasons that is a brief self-introduction, a request for internship, the reason why you want this internship, then the technical knowledge, the technical knowledge about the nature of work, then your contact details and inquiry about the availability of internship opportunities or positions. So these are the points that you would include in this letter. So remember, a letter of inquiry asks someone for specific information. So how should the tone or how should you be writing the letter? The tone and content of the letter must make it easy for the recipient. The recipient should be uh, I mean, he should find the letter, he or she should find the letter uh, so that they can provide now, provide the information that you are inquiring. Okay, now we move on to the ne next task. That is task 12. Now here is a sample letter for you. Now here is a letter based on the situation in task 11. Read the letter carefully, identify and label the part, label its parts, choose from the options in the box. Now here in this, a sample letter is given according to the question asked in task 11. So remember there in the box, it is given in a formal letter, the layout and organization are very important. Note the alignment and spacing in this sample letter. So first it is your address. You have to write your address there. So what do you fill in A? It is the sender's address. Next, you have the date line, isn't it? The date, B, you have the date, right, date here. Next, you have the receiver's address. Receiver's address here, that is Mr. HSD Srinivas. Now he is the HR head, human resources. He is the associate director, whatever it is of that organization. So you have to write receiver's address here. Next, we'll go on to the next page. 
there you have the salutation opening salutation see here it is given in the box opening salutation you have to write next is subject the subject line inquiry regarding internship opportunities at, at lnt metro so here you have the subject line now the subject line can also start from the left hand margin so this alignment also can come over here so that is the most specific way you can put this also here now you start the letters see look at the letter i am a student of mechanical engineering staying at iit hyderabad i am in the second year of my course i would like to know about the internship opportunities available at your organization so this is paragraph 1 what is this actually this is self introduction and stating of purpose next you have i am interested in studying the mechanism involved in the running of electric trains in fact i intend to take it up as a focus area of research for my project this year in this connection an internship with lnt metro will give me valuable hands on experience with reference to my area of study so this is paragraph 2 you are providing further details about the enquiry next my summer break extends from 10th april to 30th june please do let me know if opportunities are available to intern with lnt metro i have attached my brief profile with this letter for your reference so this is paragraph 3 the timelines and follow up and here you have regards now what is this this is the signing off or the complimentary close this is signing off or the complimentary close here your faithfully your name and your signature so here there are some questions for you answer these questions is the subject line clear and concise now here you have the subject line is it clear yes it is very clear because see how it is been stated enquiry regarding internship opportunities at lnt so it is very precise and con uh, concise and clear next is how can the receiver contact the sender now how the sender's address is already here and you are also providing a brief profile with this letter for the reference so the receiver can contact the sender So next is again a a task for you. Task thirteen: Write letters of inquiry for these situations. Now there are some situations given for you. You have decided to take an insurance policy to avail yourself of tax benefits. Write a letter of inquiry to the branch manager of an insurance agency requesting a brochure with the details of the scheme uh, available. Schemes available. Next is. write a letter to a local bookseller inquiring if copies of the book prescribed in your syllabus are available with him or her find out about the mode of purchase available <clears throat> write a letter to the chairman of the airport authority of india inquiring whether students of aeronautical engineering would be permitted to field with permitted a field visit to the aircraft maintenance facility at a nearby airport so these are the task or the, the letter of inquiry task given for you we'll stop uh, there and continue in the next video thank you